call this uh, regular town board meeting to order on January 11th, 2022. Um, present at the Zoom meeting are all town board members except for Councilman Dean Michael. Carol Mackin, town clerk is also present as well as tax collector, Kathy McMahon. Um, I'd like to start with approving minutes. Uh, I make a motion to approve the minutes of the December 14th, 2021 town board meeting. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the December 28th, 2021 annual town board meeting. Can I get a second? Second. Any, uh, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the January 4th, 2022 reorganizational meeting. Is there a second? I'll second. second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, at this time, we're going to introduce uh, Kathy McMahon, our tax collector, who has a message for the community. You're muted. Yes. Hello, everyone. I'm Kathy McMahon, the tax collector for the town of Clinton. I would like to update you on a change to the tax payment option for 2022. This change will apply whenever the town hall campus is open to the public. Although your tax bill states that in-person payment of taxes are by appointment only, for everyone's convenience, and if COVID allows it, I have decided to forego the appointment requirement for the months of January through March. So no appointment is required whenever the town hall campus is open to the public. If we are closed, then please call 845-266-5721, extension 141, or email taxcollector at townofclinton.com to make an appointment. You can also check the town website at townofclinton.com or call to find out if we are open to the public. I will be accepting in-person tax payments at my office located in the schoolhouse building at 1215 Center Road on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I will also be accepting in-person payments on the last date to pay without penalty, which is Monday, February 28th. A face mask is required for entry to the schoolhouse building. Beginning April 1st, an appointment will be required. You also have several additional payment methods to avoid in-person payment. By mail, mail your payment stub and check to Tax Collector, Town of Clinton, 1215 Center Road, Rhinebeck, New York, 12572. If you would like a receipt, please include the entire bill with your check. You may also pay online by e-check, which is an automatic debit to your bank account, or by credit or debit card. Please go to townofclinton.com and from the menu, select departments, then tax collector. Click on the online payment portal link and be aware fees do apply for online payments. Our final option for payment is our payment drop box. You can use the secure drop box located on the porch of the Town of Clinton Schoolhouse building. Simply place your payment in an envelope and drop it in the slot. If you would like a receipt, please include your entire bill. This convenient drop box is available 24 seven until 5 p.m. on February 28th. After that, you must pay in person by mail or online. Please do not leave tax payments in the drop boxes located on the porch of town hall. And also please note that to avoid any penalties, uh, we go by the postmark from the post office that's on your envelope when you mail it. Uh, you do want to avoid bank automatic bill payment services because they do not include a United States post office postmark. Those payments would be deemed timely or late based on the date received in my office. Uh, remember, penalties apply after February 28th, and I do not have any authority to waive penalties. Please refer to your tax bill or go to the town website for further information. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, email me or call me, and I will be happy to help you out. And that's all I have. Thanks so much, Kathy. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to supervisor's comments. 
The Clinton Town Offices, Highway Department, Justice Court Office, and Court will be closed for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on Monday, January 17th. The Clinton Community Library will be open that same day. Due to the recent spike in COVID cases throughout Dutchess County, the Town Hall campus is temporarily closed. Please continue to use the drop box on the steps of the Town Hall building to transfer documents for town business. Some departments are meeting with the public. Please call first to make an appointment. We will be reevaluating public access on a weekly basis. Check the town website for updates. The Dutchess County Transportation Council conducted a safety assessment of County Road 14 Hollow Road from Creek Road to Cookingham Road in support of its goal to improve transportation safety in Dutchess County. The safety assessment is intended to provide Dutchess County with a list of opportunities for low cost, short range safety improvements, and if warranted, more expensive long range improve improvements. Some of their recommendations include trimming vegetation for better visibility around curves, improving signage, and adding high friction pavement overlay. This section of the road has one of the highest concentrations of vehicle accidents of any county road. So most of those accidents, 78% of them, occurred during wet road conditions. Please use extreme caution when traveling that section of Apollo Road, especially during wet conditions. Recently, the town of Clinton earned a $5,000 grant through NYSERDA for becoming a clean energy community. Continuing our work with NYSERDA has opened up a larger grant opportunity, and we are currently striving for a $10,000 award. Yesterday, I submitted documentation to NYSERDA certifying that the town of Clinton government operations receives 100% of its electricity from renewable sources. We are only the second municipality in New York State to submit documentation for this. We accomplished this goal by entering the Community Choice Aggregation Program. We are now six months into the current two-year uh, aggregation contract. Since July 2021, the fixed rate under our CCA contract has remained below the rate charged by Central Hudson, saving our residents money every month on their power bills. Uh, in the town of Clinton, we have strong infrastructure, and that infrastructure is made up of parks, libraries, local businesses, and volunteer organizations. The town of Clinton, along with the East and West Clinton Volunteer Fire Companies and other community organizations are always in need of assistance. If you would like to donate some time and service to your community and neighbors, please contact my office to discuss options. When the town has COVID at home tests available for distribution, notification will be sent through the town email subscription. Please visit townofclinton.com, click on the subscribe button at the top of the homepage and sign on to our email list. Moving on to, oh, so we are going to forego reports tonight via Zoom. Uh, you can find all reports on the web. Uh, old business. I make a motion to approve the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves resolution number of 2022 to introduce proposed local law of 2022 titled security breach notification policy and that a public hearing will be held in relation to the proposed law as set forth in the form of notice here and after provided at which hearing parties in interest and citizens shall have an opportunity to be heard, to be held at the town hall on February 8th, 2022 at 625 PM. Can I get a second? Second. So uh, to clarify, um, the security breach notification policy, um, New York State Technology Law Section 208 and General Business Law 899AA mandate that the town has a security breach notification policy. Um, if we own or license computerized data, which includes private information, then we have to disclose any breach of that data to residents whose private information is exposed. And that's what this is going to do. Um, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Mike, there's a typo. It's very small. Hmm. I will. I will email it to you. Oh, in the, in the policy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And we can, we can work. Yeah. Email that to me and we'll fix it before yes. the public hearing. Uh, <clears throat> I make a motion to approve the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board has re reviewed the town of Clinton procurement policy and approves of the continued use of the policy with no changes. Is there a second? Second. Uh, for discussion, uh, the procurement policy section 70 of the town code requires the town board to review it annually. The town board was asked to review it last week in advance of tonight's meeting. And uh, does anybody have any comments on it? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. 
I make a motion to approve the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves resolution number of 2022 to amend resolution 57 of 2021 titled resolution to amend the 2021 town budget and transfer funds at the December 28th, 2021 annual town board meeting. Can I get a second? Second. <laughs> uh, there was a typo uh, on the resolution from December 28th, which created some confusion uh, when we were executing the move funds list. So we made the adjustment to fix the problem. And um, you can see that adjustment at the end of the move funds uh, list. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Moving on to new business. I make a motion that the town board approves the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves requesting a two month extension to file the AUD per, for proper accounting of the 2021 finances. Is there a second? Second. Uh, the AUD extension, um, the town's required to file the AUD every year with the state and it's required 60 days at the end of the fiscal year. This document is prepared by our bookkeepers, Van Nordstrand and Houlihan. We are permitted to request a 60 day extension to the deadline. We request this every year in order to give the bookkeeper some extra time to accurately put together a report during a very busy time of the year for them. Any other discussion? Can I get a, uh, all those in favor say aye? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, I make a motion that the town board approves the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves Supervisor Witten's attendance at the Association of Towns virtual annual meeting and training on February 20th to the 23rd, 2022 at a total cost for registration not to exceed $150. Can I get a second? Second. second. Uh, you guys may have different things in this. This was uh, supposed to be in person and then yesterday they let me know that the training is now going virtual. So it's saved us quite a bit of money. <laughs> uh, all those it, what was that? Uh, I, uh, no, I was just gonna say, we, we'll finish this one else. Yeah, right. that's the micro. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Did we um, do one of these for Catherine? Was that, did, did we do that on the 28th or? I did two days. Yeah. Two, you did two full days. Yeah, it was good. Elliot in person, you get shipped. It's three, but that's. Really <laughs> <laughs> I just, I thought we approved it before, but I just want to make sure. No, it was worth it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I make a motion that the town board approves the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves designating Supervisor Witten as delegate to the annual business session of the Association of Towns annual meeting. Is there a second? Second. second. Uh, I've never done this before, so I'm interested to see what this meeting is about. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. I make a motion to approve the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves of a basketball tournament co-sponsored by the Recreation Department to support the Corey Gallinger Memorial Scholarship on July 30th and 31st, 2022 at the Friend Mark Rec Park. Can I get a second? Second. <clears throat> Um, this, uh, tournament is a group of Corey's friends approached us to hold their second annual basketball tournament and fundraiser the weekend of July 30th and 31st at Franmark park to raise awareness of mental health issues. The recreation department co-sponsorship is to provide the facility for them for the entire weekend, the management of the basketball tournament, fundraiser, silent auction, food concessions, and children's activities during that weekend are the effort of this group of amazing 21 year olds who last year raised over $15,000 in their friend Corey Gallinger's name. Um, the money they raise is to go towards a scholarship for a deserving senior at Hyde Park's FDR High School who embodies the generous quality, qualities of their friend Corey. Um, any other discussion? Are we, do we, yeah. Sorry, I assume that we provide that, uh, the park free of charge? Yeah, we provide the park, park free of charge and um, and the town insurance through the recreation department gives them liability insurance in case something happens that day. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves of Juneteenth being recognized as a paid holiday for the town of Clinton employees. Can I get a second? Second. Uh, yeah, Juneteenth is been recognized by the federal government and now the New York state government. Um, so we are recognizing it. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Can, can, yeah. can you just explain to everyone out there what Juneteenth is? Yeah. Juneteenth is a commemoration of uh, the end of, of uh, slavery. Basically, uh, Abraham Lincoln had the Emancipation Proclamation, but the last enslaved peoples didn't find out about it until about June 19th, um, which was, I believe, months later uh, in Texas. And so it's, um, it was made a holiday, oh, sorry. It was made a holiday by the federal government um, in June of last year and by New York State, actually, in October of 2020. So that's what it commemorates. Um, are there any other items under new business? Yes, there are. <laughs> My first is just a simple question. You're going to regret sending me to two days of training. Um, <laughs> our insurance, I understand, is through one of the organizations that presented at the, um, the two days of training, NIMR. When was the last time the town shopped their insurance or put it out to bid? I don't know the answer to that, um, but we can look you've into been, it. You've been around a long time. Well, we like haven't done it in the four years I've been on the board, so. So it might, I was um, thinking it might be time. Okay. Um, I know a little bit about this, Mike. Fred. Okay. Fred. Um, Ray would, he signed up for this insurance through a brokerage on Long Island called Salerno Insurance. Um, and they, they look at all the ways that a municipality can get, I, I only know the cyber insurance part of it. My understanding is that if you went to a regular insurance company to get cybersecurity insurance, it would probably cost you three to $5,000 per year. And Nimer offers their cybersecurity insurance to you, only to municipalities in the state of New York for approximately 1,500 a year. So the, the whole idea of Nimer was to reduce the costs uh, by banding everybody together. And, it, and it's not designed to be this big profit-making thing per se. And so the, the, the rates are significantly, Ray checks with his um, sales agent at Salerno every year to make sure that the Nimer insurance is still the most favorable for the town. But there's never any documentation of it that I know of. So I, I think just calling the Salerno brokerage and having them verify that these are your alternatives and you see the prices from the different insurance carriers that will probably settle your concerns. Thank you, Fred. Um, and I have it now on my list of things to call tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Look, there's your first upside to a Zoom meeting. Fred knew the answer. <laughs> um, and the other two, and these are just thoughts that I wanted to throw out there for everybody to think about. Um, I'm wondering if with the ARPA funds, because it's about uh, definitely records and data management, are covered, perhaps a PO system. Um, you know, the warrants, that's a lot of work and a lot of paper. And while the PO system would probably still require some paper, it might streamline it a bit. Um, and it would still be multiple levels of approval. For example, the one they use at the school, it gets approved by the building principal and then it has to get approved by the um, district office. So there's, it, you know, it's still a very controlled situation. That was one thought. Um, and now I don't remember my second thought. So I just admitted on my second board meeting. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll come, come back, back to you after uh, at near the end of the meeting if you can. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, moving on to resignations and appointments. I make a motion to approve appointing Brandon Campbell as part-time cable TV operator at a rate of pay of $18 per hour, effective January 11th, 2022. Can I get a second? Second. Um, just as a discussion, Brandon has been trained by our current TV operator, uh, Jerry, and he's been taking on more and more responsibilities. Um, and so as he's been doing meetings on his own now without Jerry, we're gonna give him a bump in pay. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, we are going to skip the next one, so it's up to you, Catherine. I make a motion to appoint Chris Maresca, Tim Lawler, Travis Slater, Kara Martin, and Vicki Hicks as seasonal wingmen, effective January 11th, 2022, at a rate of pay of $15.30 per hour. I have a second. Second. 
Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Chris. All right. Uh, I'd like to make a motion uh, to approve the following resolution, be it resolved that the town of uh, Town Board approves the January general fund warrant vouchers numbered one through 24, totaling $32,406.07, and the January highway fund warrant vouchers numbered one through 10, totaling $66,105.44, and the January capital uh, projects fund warrant number uh, one, totaling $1,215. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the following resolution. Be it resolved that the town board approves resolution number of 2022, a resolution to amend the budget and transfer funds at the January 11th, 2022 town board meeting. Is there a second? Second. second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Uh, the January 2022 supervisor's report will be approved when the 2021 books are reconciled. Uh, so we do not have that tonight. Catherine, anything else? Two things. One is I wondered if um, the ARPA funds also could be used for either tablets or laptops for us so that we could have a little less paper. Um, it uh, might also fit with the, the climate smart, all those. So it may dovetail yeah. nicely. Um, so I think definitely a discussion we've been having. Yeah, Mike and I had this discussion also. So, you know, this definitely would be a possibility for that. I think it would limit a lot of paper. Maybe we can get ARPA on the next uh, on the next uh, agenda and we'll try and sort out the new ideas that we had and yeah. how we're going to spend the money moving forward. And just a, a question, do it may be a timing thing because this meeting um, early January, do we do, do you get do we get profit and loss statements, PLs every month? Yeah, so the supervisor's the report is actually that, but we don't we don't have it this month. Uh, when because. we finish out a year, Van Nordstrand and Houlihan has to do the AUD document. So until they settle all of the books, then we get that. Um, now we did extend the AUD for an, another sixty days tonight, but I've heard rumor that um, ours might get done by the end of January this year. Um, they're trying to do it faster than normal. Um, so we may have the AUD by the end of January and we'll start supervisors reports again in the coming months. Okay, great. I had a feeling it was just a timing issue. Yeah. Um, anything else? Going once, going twice. I make a motion that the town board adjourns this meeting. Is there a second? Second. second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried.